Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for Dweebovision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone first with Review. He has not played an N for Hominine. Do I have an alternative bingo? I don't think hominy is good spelt with an I and an E rather than a Y. So I've got the R to consider. Can't see anything there. E doesn't look particularly helpful. And can't see anything with the V. So I don't think I have a bingo here. The H is my scoring tile. And I'd like to split up the duplicate I. So a play of H. Well, the H and the M are scoring tiles. But a play of HOI would leave MINE, which is quite good. Close to Hemione, if my one of my eyes was an E. The V is awkward because it stops parallel plays. Above or below review. Review takes a P in front and an S after it. Now what about column 11 onto the E? So I could play Homey, which plays off both of my scoring tiles. 20 points. More scoring tiles. Three, in fact. W, H and Y. I can play all of them off in one go with Y. I don't think any while is good were there to be a floating A. I've got the L-Y and I-L-Y ending. Can't see a bingo with these tiles. So where can I score well with my scoring tiles? I could play way in column 12, making he and oi. MY is also good. Can I stretch down to that in column 12? I don't have to play off all of my scoring tiles. But I would like to play off the W and the Y because they are the non bingo -y ones. I could play Whiny in column 12. That's the play, I think, keeping EL if it stays available. Whiny, high, on, and my. I'm just considering the floaters on the board in case I have a bingo. Pretty unlikely. Yeah, I can't see one. There's nothing really good apart from column 12 for me. Certainly nothing around review is going to score very much. Now my opponent has taken my spot, which is not surprising. I don't have anything to go after the Z. I don't have an A or an O. I could play newly one square below the square to the right of Z. That's not going to get doubled. So what else is available? I'm looking to see if I can play a word beginning with the Z. But I can't. I'm not going to get rid of the W and the Y. Well, newly isn't a, a disaster. It is getting rid of the two problem tiles. And the rack leaves OK. Only 22 points. But it's not providing very much for my opponent. That looks quite promising. But I don't think I have a bingo here. The hine is good onto the E of review. That's not that's not going to score very much. I 
also have varnish through the R, but that's not a bingo. I have vanish on my rack with an I, but I can't see a way of turning that into a bingo. I'm 13 points behind and my opponent is on turn. Can't see anything through the Y of Newly onto the triple word square. I don't think naive-ish is good. Pretty sure it isn't. So now I've got the H for going next to the M of Homie. So if I had a play beginning H-A-U, that would score well. But I don't think I have. Nice bingo by my opponent. Now I can see straight away that my H can go after Y-A. So I'm thinking about playing Vanish, because that gets rid of the V and sorts out the duplicate I's. Do I have an alternative? Well, I don't think so. Well, let me just pause in case I have an 8 onto one of the floaters in Aerated. It's much easier to spot a bingo when the tiles are on your rack rather than on the board. Can't see anything with the R or the A. Or the T. E I've already considered, and I can't see anything with the D. So Vanish burns the S, but it's going to score quite well. And Vanish takes an E in front for future reference. 66 points, pretty good. Not good. Three more high-scoring tiles, which make WAKF. I've also got Quato on my rack, K-W-A-I-T-O, retaining the air. Can't see anywhere great for either of those plays. I could play four F-A-W at the bottom of column 15. I'm 20 points behind and my rack is nowhere near a bingo. And there's only one blank out there. Now, even though my rack looks unbingo, I need to be sure that there isn't a bingo here. The R of review can contribute towards work. Can't see a bingo there. I've also got fork. If there is a bingo here, it's likely to be a compound word. Now, my opponent takes my four spot, but provides another spot. I can play core down here. Thirty-eight points. This rack lead is pretty vulnerable. If I pick up duplicate I's and O's, it can remain a long way from a bingo. And it's unlikely to mature immediately into a bingo. So it's not a great rack lead, but 38 points is a good score. And I note for next go, my O and F can play next to the K and A of core. Though my opponent may well go in that spot. But if he does go in that spot, he's not bingoing. I'm 39 points behind, so this is going to bring me nearly level. Well, I haven't been swamped with vowels. In fact, I pick only consonants. A play of OF would be fine.
the two Fs together, not really a problem because a lot of words include two Fs. Now I can play ORF, O-R-F, but I'm no longer getting the score for the K. So it's only an ordinary score of about 20 points. So this board is quite tight. And I don't have an E for going in front of Vanish. I wonder if there are two letter extensions to go in front of Vanish beginning at A15. Nowhere great to play off two Fs. But one advantage of playing off is that I'm not providing anything great for my opponent. But can I do better? It's surprising how unhelpful review was. Neither, neither of us have played through it since it was played as the opening move of the game, apart from Homie. 13 minutes left. I have Triff on my rack, which would be a nice play, but nowhere to play it. I could play Orifex in column 8. Seventeen points. Keeping FT. Well, I'm not sure about all that. Off. Twenty-four. Now I have fixture in column eight which doubles the X, but isn't a great score, but does sort the rack, the rack out. And I have fruit on my rack with IX. The E and the R are really good floaters in review. But there are no premium squares around them, which is why they haven't been used for non-bingos. And the R only takes an E after it, so I can't make EX with a play in row I. I'm one point ahead, but my opponent is on turn. 12 minutes left for me, 13 for my opponent, and 45 tiles in the bag. If fixture is blocked, I'm going to struggle. The rest of the board is really tight now. But if fixture is blocked, my opponent will have played something which may provide opportunities. Well, that's pretty annoying because he does block fixture without providing the opportunities. But this rack is really awkward. Very few words on it. I don't have a six letter play in column eight. Either at the top or the bottom. The good thing about my opponent's play is that he only scored 11 points, so I'm just 10 points behind. Now, can I play parallel to loved? I don't have anything to go in front of the L. My T can go in front of the O. My F can go in front of the E. I could play Tori I. Only 12 points, but it's a really blocky, blocky move. And I quite like playing a blocky move when I've got such an unbingoy rack. Tori I takes nothing after it. So 
sorry, that isn't Tori I, is it? It's Terry I, that's hopeless. Well, I was just beginning to feel quite pleased about that move. Eleven minutes left. My I can go in that triple letter square between the D and the B. That doesn't help me. I've got fix it on my rack. Wow, what a tricky rack this is. I don't have anything to go in front of loved. I'm not sure about third, but even if it's good, the, the score's poor and the rack leave is awful. I'm ten points behind. Well, what about this? The score's going to be hopeless, but the rack leave is good, and if my opponent doesn't go on this triple letter square, I've got the X for going there, and I'm taking out a floater. Nice rack. I do now have an E. So I could play Axe in row B and he vanish for over 30 points. I have Axe Isle in column 8 at the bottom, which is going to score a, score a ton. And that's blocked. Do I have an alternative play beginning EX? Don't think I do. 33 tiles in the bag, 9 minutes on the clock. And I don't think I have a 6 letter play ending in E. Well, I have Libri. Keeping just the X. My opponent's taken that triple letter square, which I had available for my X. 29 points for Libri. Nothing at the bottom. Well, Erbia. But nothing using the X. Either on that triple, on that double letter square, or elsewhere. Five E's left. My E could go here. I could play Axe Island Marge. That's pretty good. Turns over tiles, increasing my chances of drawing the remaining blank. Keeps the B for score. 38 points is a very good score. But my pen is easily going to score just across the top of that. So is there an alternative play in this spot? Let me just put this back. I don't feel great about this. Only seven minutes left. What about a play in column five, ending A something? So I could have a play ending A-L-E. I think I will go with this. Points are just too good. And there are other scoring spots on the board. Now, is paraben good? It's a common word. Paraben free products. But in any event, nowhere to play it. If my opponent plays over the top of Axile, I may be able to play underneath. I've got column five for nab, leaving a good rack lead, nab, bat, and ami.
Exile takes nothing in front or after it. Marge, I think, only takes an S after it. 31 points for my opponent. He's played an O, so my E can't go underneath it. I would need an O to go underneath it, and nothing goes in front of DI, so... He has taken out that spot. I'm only 15 points behind, so this is a really... This is a, a dogfight. No F for Paraben. Six minutes left, 25 tiles in the bag. Now, what about a play down here in column eight? We would have to begin with the E. Can't see one. What about a six-letter play ending in A or L? Can't see one. And in any event, I think NAB might be better because the rack leave is really good. Any play in column eight is going to wreck the rack leave, but AEPR is a good rack leave. NAB 25. And that was also taking out a, a hot spot for my opponent and not providing very much in return. Just this bingo lane in column four. And that's only available. For, that's not available for bingos ending in S. Now, I do I have Paraga? No, I don't. Don't think there is a bingo here. Just wondering if I have a six that a play at the top of column eight. Can't see one, and at the bottom it would it would be a play beginning with the E. Well, eager. That's worth considering. Not many points, but it's getting over twenty points. Turning over tiles, increasing the chances of drawing this blank. Not providing very much for my opponent. Three S's left, so this Marge S hook looks pretty hot. Eager would take that out. Just one, just the one bingo in this game so far, aerated. I don't have an O for going after Ox. Todd takes nothing in front of it. I do have an E for going in front of E Vanish. Great, only 12 points for my opponent. Cox does take an E after it. Now, do I have something? Not quite grape. Gosh, how annoying. What I'm looking for is a four or five letter play. A G or a P could go after. Aha, uh -huh. do I have Peeg? I have Peeg, and although that's keeping duplicate R, there are no R's in the bag, and it's going to score well. Peeg, 50 points, fantastic. Now, what I could do is reap in this spot. E double R, not a great rack leave. ERG, not fabulous either. But reap two more points. I think that's worth doing. I have gloires and glories. Not sure if there's a third anagram there. Neither plays on this board as it stands. Sammy is not good. I've now got a 50 point lead, which is good. My G can go in front of loved to make gloved. Very strange board. So will my opponent provide a spot for glories? This will be a, this is a, a strange board because there are not many scoring opportunities for non bingos, but there are bingo lanes. But those bingo lanes are not available for bingos ending in S. Now my opponent's play off six tiles may well have drawn the blank. Eleven tiles in the bag, not hugely bingoy ones. 
my opponents provided the T as a floater. Well, first of all, he's provided row D as a bingo lane. So does Gloise go there? No, and nor does Glories. Four minutes left. Don't think there's a bingo through the T. Sortilege would need an E. I'm 25 points ahead. Two E's in the bag. My opponent's blocked bingo lanes. Now, what about playing? Only three minutes left. I'm thinking about the, my S is almost useless, and there are two S's to come. So, what about playing down here or just across here just to cut out bingo lanes since I am ahead? I could play slog. Twenty four points. I'm keeping back the I in case I draw the Q. Well, this is a strange position to be in. I'm wondering if I've got a five letter play down here beginning next to beginning next to bat, beginning E or S. But then I'm providing a floater. No, I'm not. Well, it would only be a floater if my opponent had the S to make marges. I think I'm going to go with this, but I don't. I'm not happy with it. But the time is very, very short. I draw the blank. I've got the scoring tile in the J. My opponent can score well with the Q and the U, but I've got about a fifty-point lead, and I've got a very flexible rack. I don't have a bingo. Well, I could play Jet in column four. 20 points. Two minutes left. 12 points for my opponent. I've got an eye for going here next to the Q. The remaining tiles are actually quite bingo-y. Two minutes left. But not many bingo lanes. I'm certainly not going to create any bingo lanes. 19 points. This is quite a nice rack. But I'm just going to hang on for the win now. I'm 60 points ahead. My opponent really needs a bingo to win. If he creates a bingo lane, I'm just going to close it down. Otherwise, I'm just going to keep ticking away with, well, hopefully as many points as I can without providing anything great for my opponent. Now, my Y can go in here if I had a play ending I-E-Y. Well, I could play E-Y-E -E for over 30 points, keeping, well, keeping quite a good... Right, now my opponent has provided a bingo lane for an O, but look, he's emptied the bag. I can see what he's got. He has not got a bingo. I don't need to worry about that. So I can play out quite comfortably now. I can play year across here. 31 points. I'm just checking that I'm not providing a floater for a bingo for my opponent, and I'm not. I have IS blank, so probably a whole bunch of places I can go out. And one and a half minutes to find it. I'm 
I'm just wondering if I can play parallel to jig. Don't think I can. I can't use the blank as an E to make E vanish, unfortunately. But the win is secured. So I can play oils across here for nine points. I've got a minute to find more than nine. Probably is something. Ah, oh, my opponent has resigned. The game is over. The final score, 322 for my opponent, 372 for me. A winning margin of 50 points. So quite an intense game, quite close, not many bingos. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go fast. And he played review. This was my rack. Yeah, nothing great here. Not much between Hermione and Homie. Only four points in score, and I think Homie has the better rack leave. So Homie is fine. This is my opponent's rack. That looks close to a bingo. And he did indeed have Hazarder. Tricky one to spot. He played Zed. This was my rack. Whiny did play, but across here. But 28 points is good. Instead, I played newly for six fewer points, keeping HI. Well, HI is not six points better than L, but newly's keeping the board tight and Whiny's opening it up. So not a great deal between those plays. I think either is fine. This is my opponent's rack, and he had air rated, which I think was the only bingo of the game. And this is my rack, and I played Vanish for 66, which is a bingo-y like score. My opponent's rack, he's got liturgic through an eye, no eyes available. Let's just see if he had anything else. Nope, nothing good. That's interesting, if there was an eye available, he would have a bingo, but in the absence of an eye, look at these scores and rack leaves, pretty dismal. 19 points for him, and then this was my rack, and, well, I had calf and core. Probably not much between them. I tend to prefer the F to the W, but maybe with vowels the W is better. My opponent's rack. He played Burka, and this was a tricky, tricky rack. I ended up playing Fruit. No, I didn't. This is this is where I played Orf for 24, and I didn't particularly like it. And I had Foxfire down here. I think that's a better play, Foxfire for 28. The trouble with Orf is that the rack leave is asking for trouble next go. My opponent's rack. No bingos. And he played Loved, which caused me a headache. I played Fruit in the end for not very much. But there wasn't terribly much on offer. Even the higher scoring play, Brooks keeps duplicate eye, as does the next best play. I think the rack leave of IRX is my preferred rack leaves so of the one of ones available here. My opponent's rack, he plays Marg. And this is where I played Axile. Slightly hesitant because of the positioning of the X, but I think that's fine. And now my opponent's rack. He played Todd, and I have Parabent, nowhere to play it. And I play... What did I play here? Ooh, why did I play Nab rather than Bap? Bap would certainly have been... A better play. Yeah. Oh well, the location of the play was fine. My opponent's rock. He played Cox. Now, this was my rack, and I would have had, if I'd played Bap, I would have had an N instead of the P. Well, maybe there would have been a bingo there. But, in any event, I was able to score 52 points for Reap, which was a massive score. My opponent's rack. He doesn't have a bingo, and he plays Tying. Now, I have Glories, but I couldn't see anywhere for it. And there was no other bingo on offer. 
And this was a strange time in the game because I had only five minutes left. There were 11 tiles in the bag. I was 20 points ahead. I have a massively bingo-y rack. And it was just a position where I was unsure of the best thing to do. And looking down here, there is, there is nothing fabulous. I was concerned that my opponent could have a good score across here with, with a play like squat or even a bingo. And slog took that out without providing anything. Certainly a play of G across here. It just doesn't feel great. I mean, this has got more, much more strategic logic to it in, in terms of taking out a bingo lane. Especially as my opponent had just taken out all of the other bingo lanes on the board. So I was really uh, settling in for to, to grind out the finish with a 50-point lead. There are some big scoring tiles left, the J and the Q. So this didn't assure the win, but it, I think, tilted the odds in my favour. This was my opponent's rack. He plays Chin. And at this point, there's five in the bag. And I could have played I at this point for 32 points. That would have been pretty good, keeping the J. Instead, I played Jig for 19 points. Probably not as good. But I don't think there's anything in between those moves in terms of winning this. It probably just affects the overall spread. My opponent's rat, let's just see what he has. No bingos. He plays pus, which is which I can see why he's done that. He's there are O's out there and this does create a bingo lane, which I may struggle to block. But by playing pass, my opponent empty the bag, enabled me to see that he didn't have a bingo, so I didn't have to worry about blocking pass, and I could just concentrate on the highest scoring play. Now B6, Sky E was playable down here. I didn't see that for 41 points. Instead, I played Year for 31 points. But again, uh, this absolutely guarantees the win. So although one should be trying to maximise uh, the spread, in a, certainly over a long series of games in a tournament, your your priority is just to keep on racking up the wins. Now my opponent's rack, he doesn't have a bingo. He played ooze, and at this point he resigned, but what did I have available on my rack? A well, bias at K10. Ah, well, okay, I don't. I probably wouldn't have seen that. In time but it really didn't matter there certainly were outs and i had spotted oils across here i was just looking for something better so the end of the game and pretty exciting game quite tight not much between us in terms of score and it became quite uh, strategic towards the end although i didn't have any uh, bingos or many bingoey racks uh, i i never had racks which was so awful i needed to change or which were just massively unbalanced in terms of vowels and consonants they were always fairly balanced racks i think probably the worst one was the rack when when i played fruit but otherwise there were always options available and i was able to keep scoring and i think that enabled me entering into the end game to have a lead that i could hold on to even though it was my opponent who bingoed earlier and not me so I hope you enjoyed watching that video and got something out of it. My name is David Webb, and this has been a video for DweeboVision.